Hi, welcome to another video. I just made a video to explain to you guys that you can install DWM via different ways. You have option one, install it with Arclix DISO, use it inside Calamaris, click there, or use scripts. Don't click anything on, on Calamaris, but use scripts as option two. And now we're gonna make a video for option three. So option three is two, actually two possible of possibilities. Arclix B, the B stands to build it yourself. But I know, of course, that people choose to have the easy way out in the sense that you can go to SourceForge or to Seedhost and download the ISO. 1.7 gigabyte is out there. Eight downloads, but in reality, it's 10 downloads. So you can just click on here. And if we have problems in downloading, click it here and you'll see that more and more um, of these mirrors will follow in the future. So it's, if it's all going too slow, there's an alternative. There is seat host, of course. So that's here, I click B, and you go for DWM, this one. And you'll see, well, it depends where you live, of course, but you'll see who's the fastest. In my case, it's gonna be um, seat host. But remember, if you can um, install it from SourceForge, that's free, right? And seat host, we have to pay for it. So donations are appreciated to keep that up. So 16 seconds and I'll have an Anaclix B DWM. But there is also something else we should do. We should go to Anaclix B. So the article that I need to build or so have extra here is a build your own ISO. That's what it says, build your own ISO. And then in between here, deeping in GNOME, will come DWM. Okay, how should I do that? Like any of the other guys, we could take the previous one, the last one I've made was JWM, I think. And we can just go and, and make our own ISO. It's always the same thing. The difference is the letters here. JWM will become DWM. And that's it, that's the article I will make in uh, a few moments. So the procedure, let's move this to the right uh, screen here. And this is still a virtual box that's open. Let's clean that up, all right? So you're in your computer system. You wanna build something. You see an article that says, hey, go git clone this particular URL. Control C, let's take this URL. Control Shift T, Control Shift V, and that's the JWM, right? We don't want that one, we want the DWM. That's it. Now we have two folders, two extra folders. Arco DWM, Arco G JWM. So we go, of course, in the correct one, which is Arco DWM LS. And that's it. Do you need more knowledge? Yeah, let's have a look. Change packages x86-64, we just change some of the applications arbitrarily. Run script 30, run script 40. That's it, basically. So we have a look and let's get out of the terminal. It's not that interesting to keep in a terminal here. Go to our home, control H. So JWM, that's another video. Arco DWM installation scripts, arch ISO readme. You'll see that in YALF, of course, over time, other articles have been added. In this case, it's the arch ISO readme. A lot has changed in this department of arch ISO. So we say use arch ISO version 49-1. So I'm gonna ask query, how is it? What do I have? Arch ISO. Okay, all right. So if the exact same version as required to build my own ISO, build your own ISO, that's the B, right? We've downloaded it already, but we can build it as well. We should go and have a look at Arch ISO packages, open it up with, up with the other you like. And let's make this very big. So these are the things coming from Arch ISO, suggestions, I say, okay, take these, take these. We omitted a few of them, 
So okay, don't want that, we don't want that, etc. So still not where we're scrolling now, line 200 and so on. Here it becomes your thing, more or less in software from Arch Linux repositories. From there on, you can say, yeah, I want to have Atom on my ISO. When I build the ISO and then I burn it and I install it to my computer system, I immediately want to have Atom. I don't want to do sudo pacman minus s atom. That's what this is about, about, right? You say you decide to have evolution on your system or not. You decide to have GIMP on your system or not. It's a hashtag way and of course vice versa. I don't want to have nitro nitrogen on my system. I don't want to have variety on my system, nor do I want termite on my system, etc, etc. So make this particular ISO your own. And anything that's from Arch Linux may be a good idea to just put things behind here. If you say I want to have this or that, just type it at the bottom. But first, of course, control find. Um, let's have a look, Thunar, for example. Let's find if it's already available. So Thunar is already on my ISO. So I don't need to put it in here because I wanted to have it, but it's already there. So it's gonna be double, which is no problem. It will be just installed and installed. Just takes a few uh, seconds longer, that's it. So no errors there. Anything from the AOR cannot be installed, right? If it's on our repository, the Arch Linux repository, then there's no issue at all. You can add them to the packages list that we have here. So enough examples, let's go and build, right? So you decide what you put on your Arco DWM, Arco Mate, Arco Plasma, it's always the same procedure. Decide to change it or not, leave everything as is. Go inside installation scripts. Then you open up a terminal here in Plasma. We do it like this. And since this is my first installation of the day, I'm gonna use 30 which means it's going to clean out the cache. So whatever old cache is in there is not going to uh, use that one. Let me put you here and let me put you here. So that's the fun, right? We can actually have the liberty of making our own ISO based on Arch, sorry, on Arco Linux the flagship. So the, the template, the, the blueprint, is one ISO and all the bees are built upon the knowledge and the scripts and the settings of Arco Linux, right? And of course we have to wait for these downloads. So we're downloading everything again, right? So the system is going to get it, is going to put it, where was it again? VAR, cache, Pacman, packages. Look at the things changing here, 438, 45, 40 years, 470. So every package is coming back from the Arch Linux server. Which one? You might ask. First line is coming from mailtunnel.eu. That's the one providing all these packages. We're already at 671 packages. And it seems to be, no, nope, not stopped. <laughs> Let's have a look. He's still downloading. Yes, he is. 70%. And this is the fun, right? You change whatever you like in the Arch ISO packages file. It's simple, it's a text, hashtag before it, it will not be installed. No hashtag before it, it will be installed. Anything from Arch Linux and Arch Linux just will work. Just not the AOR packages, then you need to do something more and have your own repo, for example. Or you just say afterwards a script, yay minus s, this, that, 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 and everything gets installed. A little script you run afterwards. Um, Okay, nothing more to tell. There's one thing maybe, the 13, the 14, if you compare these two guys, 
you know why we have a 40. The only thing is, here we clean the cache, we delete everything from the cache, from var cache pacman packages. That's still open, I think. No, that's not open. This, this is the thing. So var cache pacman packages. We clean everything out. That's number 30. And then number 40, we say, like in 20 minutes time, I'll do another build, right? Why download everything again? Everything is fresh since 20 minutes ago. So we don't, in number 40, we do not clean it out and we reuse it. So the creation of the ISO is faster and the bandwidth is, is slower, so it's, it's not used because everything is local already. So that's an interesting thing to know. And here is installing, 1048, we're almost at the end. Some of the things are normal, you see this red thing here, who was that, right? It is a read-only system, so it's because of the fact that this is a special kind of environment that we see messages like that. It's all built in Shroot. This always takes typically a little bit longer. The Linux presets make init CPIO. First the init RAM file system, then the fallback later on. As always, be patient. Let the application do its thing. Let's quickly go, oops, let's quickly go here. So you see here as well, run scripts if you build the ISO for the first time. So every package gets thrown out, gets renewed. And if you want to retry it and test it out again, second uh, build, right? Then you run script 40 and it's more conservative for your bandwidth usage. So the, the video we're making now is actually this one, how to build the Articon B DWM ISO, right? And installing, we can do that later on. That's the next video. Yeah, we'll have to be patient. You know what, I'll pause the video a little bit. So we've gone through all these things here. The make init CPO, CPIO thing. This will work later on. We've a fix for that for the app stream. It's an error that's no problem. This is no problem either. We know now why it happens. Never been a problem, always has been there. Doesn't matter. And basically this is a good message. If you see this at the bottom, it means your ISO is 15%, 20% ready. So he's writing out a folder, well, a folder and a file. Let's have a look later on. So the build and the out. In this case, we have old stuff in here, I think. Let's delete everything. Let's clean everything up a little bit. So the D out, that's clean. That can go. This is the build, so this guy is building in here and we'll have a work folder, that's where it's working, and an out folder, but basically the script will take care of everything and clean it up. What I need to have here in the Arcanlinks B out folder is later on the ISO. Let's pause a little bit. All right, everything finished up nicely. So this is what it should look like. It gives you some updates here. And in the end it says, okay, we have 1.9 gigabytes in the out Arcanlinx B DWM and a reference number. So 20.119 is the Arcanlinx flagship number. So that's gonna be that number as well. And some checkups, right? So um, also the package list, which is interesting. So you can always have a look what's actually inside my own ISO. Right, this is what you have as packages, and it's a long list. You can drag the slider here. We're talking about 1048 packages, and then you're a happy guy, right? This is your personal ISO. What I'm gonna do is load this personal ISO up and show you how to install it. Then, but this is the building part, this is personalization. Make your own Arcanlinx BI, so whatever desktop it is. 
this just happens to be TWM. All right, have fun.